Welcome back everyone to Let's Play World Waves 2 as Germany, excuse me, episode number 56. It's been about a week since I've played. I have read all the comments. I've pretty much caught up. I'm sure I've forgotten all of them. <laughs> well, maybe just the most recent ones, but um, I think that in general when I hear something, part of it somehow sticks in my brain, so we'll probably still be taking a lot of the comments I've received into consideration. For example, we still have a Mosul. Well, she's long past her service life. The uh, oldest existing, I mean the oldest uh, in-service destroyer or higher, because we still have all the Glukstads, but um, yeah, it's time for us to bid her adieu. Thank you for your service. 220, not much, but um, I think that after looking at this a lot, I don't know if these foreign station type corvettes are going to be as useful. I was really hoping to squeeze more life out of the light cruisers, but it's actually nice to have light cruisers. So I think that what I would do next time is I would go with our light cruiser design philosophy, maybe turn down the number of destroyers we make. I do like to have a lot of on a lot of trade protection, but we could actually get some of our light cruisers to do trade protection, um, which I think would help with the combat the raiders a bit. They were kind of out of control. Uh, the one Solorns, these are really getting towards the end of their life. I mean, a lot of people are really pushing. A lot of my naval staff advisors are. Suggesting that we actually get rid of these and Certainly, there's not anything I would do to refit them with AA or anything like that The nice thing is sometime a long time ago. They did get the nice secondary guns, but um, as we're moving towards naval aviation and all that That's becoming less important It's true that these can hold themselves uh, hold uh, their own pretty well against anything well hold their own I guess it's really not a fair engagement anyway, but against anything smaller than a battleship, they will still absolutely dominate it. And I think they also have, do they have the quality one inch guns? I mean, look, I people are probably just building up steam of anger that I'm even considering keeping these. But the thing is, the most recent refit, 1928, it really did secure, this ship is basically as good as it can ever be. Um, let me open design for rebuild and yeah, so it's, it's 39 tons not a whole lot we could do there We could add maybe like one Light AA gun not, not really even worth the refit frankly um, It looks like we did put dual purpose guns on this thing for I mean this is still I think this is gonna be a serviceable design And if you think I'm crazy just look at the the maintenance that we pay on her. So it's a relatively small 160 so we're paying Almost as much. I mean, these are not on reserve, but we're paying. So it's about double what a light cruiser is. A slick thing is. Here we go. Uh, yeah, it's about double. It's actually slightly less than double what a Valkyrie is. And the Valkyries are more battle effective. I'd like them. I much prefer a Valkyrie in a fleet battle. Because I don't want the Olin Solorns anywhere near a fleet battle. But you can see that they're not. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna basically just continue with my experiment. In my head, I'm, I want to make this just an experiment. We're gonna see how long we can actually get away with these guys before they become truly a liability. So at some point, they will be a liability. And when that come point comes, we will scrap them. But until then, I may actually keep them around. So I don't want them in four. Oh, I need them in four stage. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, these, uh... These new Adler class Corvettes, I'm not, uh, I'm just not 100% convinced. Their maintenance is much higher than I thought. Now we should take into account the fact that their maintenance is 20, which is the foreign station maintenance. Still, as you can see, it's half what, um, yeah, it's basically half the maintenance of a destroyer, slightly less. And that's not good because between these two, I'd much rather get this. It has 
basically everything better except for, you know, this one's a Minesweeper. Actually getting four ASW while having Minesweeping equipment is pretty darn good. I guess we went for everything, right? Yeah, we went for everything. So actually getting four is not bad at all. I probably should, I, I mean, I, I think that I should not be double dipping on these two. But I don't know, I'm gonna figure all these things out eventually. And for now, we're just gonna be happy. We're gonna have to live with the fact that things are not perfect because uh, it doesn't really matter anyways. We're playing kind of on easy mode. Uh, Germany is a pretty easy nation to play as. What's more, uh, we'll get dual purpose on the, I'm gonna build something just like this. This is actually what I've already decided is gonna be like my end game destroyer. The five inch guns with the dual three dual, the two fours is basically exactly this. Um, but we'll probably make her like 1800 so that she's a little bit faster. This is actually a pretty fast ship already. Um, we'll take the mines down, try to see if we can squeeze, maybe drop the K guns. Uh, what else? Drop the ammunition a bit. That's actually not going to help as much as I thought. I hate to drop the torpedoes, but basically at this point, I'm starting to favor... I'm starting to favor anti-aircraft over torpedoes. Hmm. I'm trying to think where we can squeeze in the necessary... I don't like to do this, but it looks like we're gonna have to decrease the tubes. Okay, so we're gonna have to decrease one tube. That's fine. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. So we'll drop this just one, and that's okay. We even have two spots left, which, I mean, I guess we should be using AA directors now as well. Yikes. So we'll drop this as well. And... Huh. Maybe we just can't get dual purpose out of these. I mean, I, I don't know if there's something I'm missing here. Their ASW currently is six. Uh, Katori left me a fantastic article about all the different, all the different uh, effects for things. I think each K-Gun is worth one point of ASW, each click of this. So each two K-Guns is worth one. Increase DC, I think it's worth one or two. Anyway, getting dual purpose guns would be really important. But I'd have to drop this down to like two torpedoes. So we'd basically be ruining its surface ability. And this is really the question. Do I want surface? I do, right? I really do. I'm okay with minimizing pretty much everything, but not, yikes, that's, that's not helping us very much. Drop this, okay, so we will drop its ASW, but it's not meant to do ASW. It's now being recruited as a full-fledged fleet thingy. I don't think we even need, I, I mean, this is not bad, getting three and three. 140, how's this looking? Fire control, ah. How expensive are you? You're worth probably one tick of rounds per gun. Yeah, that's gonna make it more deadly. I mean, this is, uh, how expensive of a refit is this? Oh, changing the rounds per gun now changes the, that's right. I'm going to be okay with that though, because this ship is going to be in reserve for a long time no matter what. I mean, tensions are low, so we don't mind the 12 month refit. So she's going to lose any of her non-combat stuff, which is fine. Strategically, she's definitely becoming much worse, but the AA, a little bit weaker on the torpedo side, but just by two. I think I'm just going to save her here. Better fire control, so she'll function better. We'll rebuild all of them. I'm just gonna do it. 
I'm in one of those kind of moods where I'm I'm, really, I'm willing to just commit to these things. Uh, the Sternbringer needs to be refit. I mean, so many things need to be refit. Monthly balance is not going to support all the refits we want to do. I think, honestly, it's a little bit weird, but the first refit I might even do is the Owen Solorns. 1928. It's 1937. They are going to be old very quickly. And I just want to do a fresh... Slap it on a fresh coat of paint, basically. Do an overhaul. See if all their systems are still working out. Hell, we'll... Wait. Yeah, we have a little bit of space remaining for one more light anti-aircraft gun. I mean, we could, in fact, just go heavy with the mediums. Is this better, or is it better the other way? I don't know. It seems like light anti-aircraft guns still have some effect, but mediums shoot down more airplanes. These might be better at dispersing enemies. Although, from what I know... Yeah, no. Light... I was going to say light anti-aircraft doesn't shoot them down before they attack you, but they do still disperse them before or during their attack. Um... Hmm. A weird alternative here is that we could go for like five inch sec. No, it's not worth it. that. That's gonna be too much of a replace. We just want to keep this a very short, cheap replacement. And I think that this is mission accomplished here. She'll still be very valuable. She's basically like an armored cruiser. Think of her as like a heavy cruiser. She's basically a, a heavy cruiser, a very slow heavy cruiser. Cause she's down to 18 knots since we bulged her. Now, I don't know where the right play with these two is, but since I went with four anti-aircraft directors, I feel like the medium guns should be pretty powerful. Maybe I'll take them down by another two and grab this up by three, four, six. That's fine. We'll get a, a nice spread of everything. And I will save this. Yeah. Those should be just a really cheap refit. Yeah, I'm going to have to get somebody else to go to foreign stations just temporarily. Um, that didn't help. Uh, the Valkyries need to be re retrofitted. Can I use these? No, either you don't work on foreign station or you're actually already um, functioning as tonnage on foreign station. I don't think the short range ships can serve as foreign station. They can, that's weird. <laughs> uh, by the way, over 6,000. Um, there's a huge diminishing returns on tonnage. You only get one third of the tonnage over 6,000 to count towards foreign stations. So putting these big ships on it, I mean, this kind of makes the Owen Solar even better because it's like, what, a 20,000 ton ship? Guess what I can do is put these nice nows. I actually don't know. Do we even want to keep these? They're still using casemate. I mean, I I know it's crazy, but I'd actually rather scrap these than a lot of the other ships we have. I think I will in the end just scrap these. But for now, what we'll do is we'll just put them on foreign station. Hopefully they stay there for a month. <laughs> put one of them on active fleet. Yeah, I think the Gneissnows are actually going to be scrapped first because they're already not effective in combat, I would say. 14-inch guns, not bad. Plenty of light anti-aircraft, which I know I always in my head was going to... But the, the thing is, the cross-deck fire kind of makes this thing a lost cause. I mean, it's like we're getting towards 1940 here. Cross-deck fire, it's a little bit outdated. So, 
we're, we're basically using those um, Owen Solorns as heavy cruisers. I'm emphasizing that point because that shows you that these are now considered the bottom of the bottom for our battleships. And I think that they are just, it's time for them to go. Unless you have 16 inch guns, just get out of my Navy. Something like that. So if I'm going to scrap them at all, I might as well scrap them now. I know it feels a little bit weird to scrap. Ah, I mean, they're, it's perfect. I would have to refit them for them to be functional anyway. So yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm going to scrap them. Got some good money out of that one. Sternbringers are going to be fine. The Foyer Druckers are actually another consideration for probably not scrapping. I guess they are battle cruisers, and I could probably put them on trade protection. But I don't really want them as part of my fleet anymore. It's time for us to design new battleships. And although we don't have the money to do that right now, we'll probably have to go even one more war before we do, so the Foyer Druckers will have to serve one more as the fleet scout battleship. I mean, hey, they're, they're not bad, right? They're, I mean, they're quite good. Just the only problem I find with them is that their torpedo defense is too low. Let's check with the Blukers. The Blukers are also two. That's fine, because they are smaller on tonnage. And the Sternbringers are four, and I think the Gneissenaus are also two. One, yeah, those definitely need to go. We want torpedo protect. I mean, torpedoes are going to be the thing which usually ends up sinking me more often than not. So we have four strong carriers. They also need to be refit. Before I do any of that, we need to make sure we move their air groups to reserve. Um, these guys are 1928 refits. Looks like everything is 1928s, which means it's perfect time for everything to get a refit. Ah, what do we have being built right now? Oh, these are actually being built, not rebuilt. And these are being rebuilt. Okay, so when the Valkyries come out, I'm glad I have enough, a lot of Valkyries coming out still. Because we haven't seen those guys in action yet. Uh, during your aircraft companies asked if we could support their participation in the National Air Race. Absolutely. Oh, wow. German aircraft, Dornier 231B, wins the trophy for the fastest aircraft with a top speed of 255 knots. This triumph over an aviation industry has energized the nation and raised your prestige. Well, fantastic. Okay, new fighter prototypes are ready for evaluation. Are they faster than 255? <laughs> no. So I believe we chose speed and maneuverability for these. This looks really good. Okay, low on the speed, unfortunately, but I like the firepower. I like the maneuverability. And maybe it's good reliability. <laughs> Yunkers. It's so weird that everything is producing the wrong thing. The Junkers are producing good fighters. The Falk Wolves and the um, uh, Messerschmitts are producing good bombers. It's all mixed up. Still, I think that this is at least, at least you have to say out of the ones that we have available here, it is the best. Um, we'd have to take two hits on maneuverability to get a little bit better speed. It has the best range. So I guess this 231 that we have right now is quite good. And I do want to look at the aircraft types because now especially we have time to design something new. I believe we'll keep both of these fighters um, around but this one is, well, it's just, it frankly is very, very, very obsolete now. Because the firepower of four is now being matched by the newer one, the Junkers, and the much faster speed. I didn't even, I don't even remember what the maneuver, build, the, sorry, the range was, but just assuming it wasn't as good. Somebody made a comment that I probably should consider getting more range on my fighters. So their range for escort is the light one, so it's 200 right now. And we don't even have the range to escort dive bombers on heavy load. I mean, we do, we already have the range to escort the dive bombers on heavy, and even medium range were exactly matched, which is perfect. Now, our torpedo bombers do have a slightly higher range, 234 and 230, but I believe the farthest we've ever launched an attack with um, anything is like 130, right? In this last, uh, I think in the... The Iceland battle. We were trying to go like 130, 150 or something like that. So I, I still think that this is plenty enough range for our fighters. 
I don't have any, I, I generally would rather move closer than sacrifice any other useful characteristics or statistics on an airplane for range. Um, the, with the exception being the medium bombers, the float plane scouts, the flying boats, these obviously I think need to have range because they aren't going to be flying. Uh, I mean, the float plane scouts will be flying from us, so those probably don't need range as much, but um, we need the land-based aircraft, so medium bombers, flying boats, to have range in order to actually be able to affect the battles. Now, our flying boat right now has something insane for range, 400 for heavy, which means it's going to be able to carry, uh, but the reliability is really bad. So probably what we should do is get a new flying boat first, and we'll get a new medium bomber as well. They're both going to happen. I don't know. I wish there was a way to affect accuracy. I mean, a flying boat, it's not really ever going to be useful for anything, but I think what I want to do is range and then speed for the second one of the flying boat because I want it to be able to patrol faster, frankly. So let's go ahead and just do the flying boat. So we want range and speed. Toughness. Toughness would be a good one. Reliability actually is probably more important. Uh, yeah, let's do range and reliability. When I saw the options there in front of me, it just seemed like it was very difficult to not choose reliability. Um, we have two torpedo bombers here. They both have similar range. They have similar map speeds. They... Okay, this one has higher maneuverability, higher firepower, higher maneuver firepower by three, higher maneuverability by two, and only one less toughness. Less on the heavier. I think that this is just our girl, this Henschel 212. So the Falkwolf 225, I mean, look, it doesn't, it even has higher reliability. I don't really care about the bomb load because we want our torpedo bombers for the most part to be used for torpedo bombing. Okay, so we'll get back a new flying boat. We'll compare those. I think I'm going to keep both of these. I may even end up obsoleting the fastest airplane in the world. No, I can't do that. It won us that thing. We'll keep them both around. We'll just mix them up. Okay, so that's good for now. Um, we just have to wait for the funds to start redoing the rest of these things. And whenever we can, I guess we should just try to retrofit these. I don't think that this one has any changes. So it has the four inch dual purpose guns, which now I would like to have five, but this is still a lot of dual purpose guns, which is great. Um, she's very good on ASW, I assume. It's only an eight, it's crazy. It's a good, it's a very good class of ship. I think we're just gonna leave it as is. I don't think there's anything we can do to really change it. Just add one light AA gun. Nope, can't even do that. I'm pretty sure that this is exactly the discussion I had when we last did this. So it does it even need to be refit? 1936. No, <laughs> it's a year old. Okay. So the Suds Lifea. Uh, this one probably can be refit. I think this was the inspiration for my Donner, Donner Valden, Donner Von Dillon. So this one, a little bit less, it has a little bit less in terms of anti-aircraft because it only has three four inch guns, but more torpedoes. So this is more of a, an anti-ship destroyer. And we probably have the same thing here where can't get anything on this. Oh, could actually get, and it doesn't actually affect anything. But I'd rather get medium gun, but fine, one light gun, just because we have nothing else to do with that space anyway. Okay, so we'll just save this. Actually, we did have some of these attacked, so Having the extra one light AA, maybe it's useful. 
We'll wait for the, all the Valkyries to finish before we refit that class, but that one does need to get refit. All right, so we're gonna move all of our guys to reserve here. I'd almost rather do it one at a time. Did I already mix them all up? Yeah, can I? Mm. Pretty sure all these are gonna go to the Rhineland, the fairs. I will do them one at a time. So, oh my god, that's just so weird. And should be 12. Perfect. Okay, so now let's get uh, the Graf Zeppelin refit. Okay, good. She already has the dual purpose guns. We can get AA directors, which is probably going to help a fair bit. Actually. Looks like we can get a lot of stuff. And uh, I was definitely considering... Oh. What if we just do... Something like this. Five inch dual purpose guns. Gonna run out of space here. I, I think I already did this, right? So, I don't want to leave things like this, but let's just see what happens. What does this new airplane capacity come down to? 45? I mean, 45 is not bad. We've already built this thing, right? We do want to get some use out of it. Let's get up to 10, to 20. Okay, 19 and 20. I like this a lot. It's got a lot of dual purpose guns. It's got a lot of light AA. It's got a lot of medium AA. It's pretty formidable, and it's still going to carry around 45 aircraft. So, oh, we can do deck park and deck edge lifts, which should help its... I thought that helped its spot value. Is this also not implemented? It does increase the cost. We'll just do them because they should be good, so... I'll presume that having them on, maybe it's going to be something that is implemented later, and then I still want to have it. Who knows? So we're basically consolidating down to one dual-purpose gun, which is what you're supposed to do. The second dual-purpose guns, or having two dual-purpose guns, has a penalty. Five-inch ones, I want to make the standard United States one. We might go with six-inch guns for the light cruiser that we make in the future. I can't remember, did any of the, okay, so I believe that the Atlantis had five inch dual purpose guns, but did the Omaha's have six inch dual purpose guns? I can't remember. Or why, I don't know, I, for some reason I have my, the Omaha as like a six inch dual purpose gun, it's in my head. I don't think that's true. Like another part of my brain is telling me that that's not correct, I don't know why Omaha is popping to mind. Maybe it's the Victory at Sea series I did probably messed with my brain anyway the 45 aircraft we're gonna go ahead and do this that means that two of her um two of her air groups are gonna need to be reduced and i think we might even want to redo these entirely so we can take this down to 11 and 11 which saves us 10 aircraft we take away two of those and we get eight aircraft and those eight can be dive bombers. That's what I'm thinking here. So change this to 11. Change this to 11. The reason why I'm doing this is so that we can get some dive bombers, but only eight of them, so it's not that big of a deal. Oh God. Okay, well, we'll just add them to the ship itself later. Anyways, you can see that this is now, we've saved now 10 aircraft, and we only get 8 back, though. And those will be the dive bombers. Okay, good. That feels good to me. Uh, what was I going to do about that? You are, what? 
Huh. Probably because we're <laughs> keep refitting everything. All the people I'm putting on foreign stations are no longer on foreign station. Like these Bockenheims. Why don't we get them to foreign station? Still missing 5,000. Jeez. Uh, Schlichtings are all doing their jobs already. Okay, so that one's fine there, I think. Um, these reserve fleet. Let's get them to, well, let's get as many as we need. 5,200? Oh, man. Just one short. We're going to have to get this. Four of them. Okay. Next turn. Yes. I almost chose the wrong one. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, gosh, we have radar technology, by the way. Underway replenishment, that does sound really good. So research has unlocked for us radar and electronics, and this has got to go to high. Just, there's no two ways about it in my mind. It's got to go to high. I think that even naval aviation stuff is actually probably doesn't even need to be high anymore. Oh boy. Um, shipboard aircraft. This is gonna increase maximum carrier size, which we don't need. Okay, so deck edge lifts improves readying time. Now I remember. And deck park increases aircraft capacity of carriers, which is not implemented yet, as we mentioned. Okay. Well, we'll maybe put this just down to medium. <laughs> the United States is ahead of us in our cat in the category we are most advanced in. Damn you, USA. The good news is we won't have to fight USA again. I mean, I will do anything I can not to fight them again. They're going to be absolutely insane. They're going to be so difficult to fight with some, like, incredibly, incredibly powerful ships. And always lurking in the background is this knowledge that we do want to fight Great Britain eventually. So there's AP projectile stuff. Good. Ah. Trouble figuring out early surface research radar. Okay. This is faster than our fastest dive bomber. That's okay. We're making slow strides on the naval aviation front as well. So the foreign stations thing is a little bit annoying. It's always been, it's kind of like, it's, you know, it's obviously good to have in the game somehow. It's just really annoying the way you have to take, you know, micromanage it. Just in time. Um, <laughs> the French want to buy this stuff. We just, uh, yeah, okay, fine. I don't think it'll make the difference between anything and anything between us and the French. So we'll get these guys to go on foreign station. Well, eventually, whenever we want to do refits of anything else, we'll do that. So if I, for, for example, the Blukers, they have six inch guns. We could actually just go dual purpose on them. That would make this a very, very powerful, very, very powerful ship. Now, what's the difference? It doesn't cost that much versus, yeah, it's very expensive. So I think we will do this. The, the Blukers are actually just going to go to six inch dual purpose guns. Um, we'll probably have to drop the ammunition or something has to give here, right? We'll go down to three here. And four light anti-aircraft guns is not, it's not as many as I would like. Everything about this thing is really sturdy, except for that, now the anti-aircraft, but the six inch guns, my God. 
six inch dual purpose guns. I wanted the five inch ones to be the, the standardized one, but we're gonna be okay with this. Oh my gosh, so many. And I, I like everything about this ship still. It's probably my favorite ship that we have. <laughs> I mean, it's not the best ship. The Sturmbringer obviously is, but I think this is still my favorite because it's so price efficient. Um, yeah, everything looks good. I, gosh, I just, I think we are going to drop this down to 100. And it's going to give us, it's going to be a long refit, but we're going to have so much joy getting more anti-aircraft in there. Oh yeah, this is this is good times. Okay, 24, 28, 6 inch, the dual purpose guns. I really like this. I really, 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 really like this. Okay, that's it. That's the blooker. Insufficient. Oh, whoops. We we have we certainly did overdo it. I think we get more topside space by dropping down this and increasing this. Although, it's still going to have 70 left over. Hmm. Can we use cent? No, we can't use swivel. Um, centerline mounts. We can get two torpedoes. Oh, nope, those cost topside space as well. Ah, uh, this is kind of tough. What do you do about this? Do you add more? No, that's very, very, very costly. Hmm. Now, this is actually at 20 knots because it did have this surpass my design speed thing. We can get away with this if we just do three double A's and not change the rounds per gun. I have to say that like the the way these ships should fight considering their armor configuration, well actually this one should fight close range. So if that's the case then she should close even though she doesn't have the speed to do it, but if she's gonna fight close range then she doesn't need the ammunition. Let's just see this again. Oh man, we're so close to getting it though. Is there any other place we can save? Skimp? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think it's possible. Could even make her slightly overweight. But I'm just, I'm not in that habit. I'm not in the habit of doing that. Forty-five takes us down to seventy-six. Seventy-six. Sorry, this is down to sixty-five. So this is slightly more efficient, which means let's take this down to that. Sixty. Yeah, this is better. So we'll go to ten and eleven and twenty-three. Not bad. Okay, so we do have a little bit of space remaining, but that's fine. We'll live with it. I'm not gonna add tertiary guns. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, this is good. This is quite a good ship still. So. Seven tons remaining, not a big deal. Yeah, we'll just do this. So, 250,000, not, not very much in terms of cost. Actually, it's saving us monthly balance. <laughs> well, well, the French really wants to buy some stuff for us. Improved power training for torpedo mounts. 
But we will take it because we do want to improve our navy. I can't believe it's been 40 minutes already. Has this episode really been going on for 40 minutes? What have I been doing the whole time? Well, it's going to give everyone a chance to catch up. Me as well. I'm really happy to see this monthly balance starting to rock it up because I do want to build some more stuff. We want to... Okay, we have to... How long is the Graf Zeppelin in for? I changed the ammo, so 12 months. One more month. Okay. So we'll get ready to refit the first of our, our um, Rhinelands. Okay, uh, submarines, better. That's nice. Uh, no. So let's just say no to all. Okay, unexpected problems. What better time for that to happen than now when we're not at war? Go to air groups. And I want to put these into the Graf Zeppelin. Man, it's quite quite an artifact there. Go in, damn you. Ah. <laughs> and then the eight remaining, we'll see if we can add. Ah, it worked. Very good. So those are poor, but you know they'll slowly group up. I mean, they'll slowly. They'll slowly get there. So I really like that group. That's good. Lots of, we got several good fighters. Probably, I, so I definitely did not want to lower the number of fighters we have because the Graf Zeppelin is probably going to be more or less an escort. I'm not going to say escort carrier because that has connotations. I mean, it's historical designation was for like convoy escort. She's really going to be more like a battleship escort. I, there's even part of me which thinks that maybe I should even increase the number of fighters dropping some of the other stuff down but it, it feels okay as it is and we'll get to the other ones very soon the Rhinelands I mean what is the refit gonna look like okay we'll get to the Rhineland herself then alright Rhineland how are we gonna change you about so you currently have, yeah, so what we're going to do, uh, it's very clear. Remove her tertiary, her secondaries. And either we keep them as 4-inch guns, or we go to 5-inch guns, which is going to be very expensive. Let's keep them as 4-inch guns for now. I can only go to 147, so let's drop this a bit. So we can get 40 and 19, so 200. Wow, I, mean, I guess we can get one other aircraft, can't we? We can. We can be exactly at 100. Or we can probably drop this down to like 98 and get 5 inch guns, which. 97. I think I'm still a big fan of that. Definitely don't need as much ammunition now. I really, we don't need that much ammunition to begin with. Although there's nothing else we can do with it, so forget it. So 5-inch dual-purpose guns, which is what I always wanted. That's what I always dreamed of. Can we get extra turrets? First of all, let me check and see. Everything is okay if I do this. Can we add extra turrets? Why would we want to do that? I don't think we're going to want to do that, but... Yeah, so this is somewhere... This is where you cross the line. By the way, it just said... Overground, right? Yeah, so total rate of fire at minus 10%. Thank you. So we'll just drop these last two guns again. And we're right back where we started. So this is good. I th still think the five inch guns, this is gonna be a bit more expensive. Yikes, not just a bit more expensive, quite a bit more expensive. But we are making the Rhineland basically into the, you know, she's gonna still be the ultimate <laughs> in carrier. 
I mean, she's got to be the the best carrier in the world. And we, although the the cap has done a pretty good job, you can kind of think of it this way. Let's let's kind of think of it this way. We lost two aircraft. Our anti-aircraft capabilities have probably still gone up overall. I haven't. I don't know what's the difference. I mean, you'd expect that real fighters instead of carrier-based anti-aircraft, the fighters would be much more effective than anti-aircraft on a ship at stopping incoming aircraft. So in that sense, it'd be nice to have those two fighters back, but um, I'm not gonna, it's probably only gonna be one torpedo bomber, might even be just two torpedo bombers which are dropped, in which case my fighter coverage is still gonna be the same. We just have one less dive bomber going out. And I don't really, I'm not sure in the end if I like these huge divisions. I know you can break them into two parts, but so I think I might drop them down from like 16 to 15 to the torpedo bombers. Spot value is 50, which is awesome. So we can spot 50 at a time, which is wonderful. Um, so I don't know. Um, this is a question to anybody out there and probably what I'll conclude this video with. Does torpedo defense stack with bulged if you're already at torpedo defense four? Because we could drop ourselves down to 25 knots, get another 500 displacement. I'm really tempted to do this. Put us back up to that. Oh, and we have like one extra. We can do that. At 74, we really have no use for that. Eh? Yeah. Nothing can change here, which is fine. It'd be the same thing as not being able to change the belt and stuff. So I'm pretty happy about that. We'll lose three knots of speed, but the carriers just don't usually need that speed. I don't know. I'm not going to do it quite yet. So I'll just, in my head, think about doing this. Get your feedback on the camera. I mean, uh, get your feedback, read that off camera. Come back and we'll finish designing the Rhineland. For now, I'm going to wrap this one up. So until the next video, thanks for watching and take care.